Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. So today is going to be using the last palette in the Shot My Stash. Finally guys, it's, at this point it's been four weeks, nearly five weeks since I did my last Pretty Random Chooses my eyeshadow palettes out. So this is the last one and I've left it till right at the last minute because I just don't know how I feel about it. I mean, there's some pretty shades in this palette, don't get me wrong. I mean, I really love this green. I'm thinking about using that green with kind of a neutral crease shade today. I was thinking about using these pops of green as well, but I am going shopping in a second um, once I've filmed this video. So I don't want to be too bright. Plus this um, Anaconda shade here, no pigment comes off it. I mean. A little bit you can see it on my finger there but hardly any pigment comes off it the um, venomous shade here is is quite pigmented um, but yeah I, I really really want to use that the only downside to that is there's no light crease shade um, there's obviously ape shit here um, but I want it a little bit lighter so I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced chocolate but it's not ideal just purely because obviously I wanted to use all the shades from this palette but I'm not using the green mattes so um, I, obviously I'm not going to be using it so let's just pull this um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar in for a few shades and it gives me a chance to use some of the shades more before I do the Pan That Palette update um, so yeah we'll do that if only the battery wouldn't go on us Okay, so I'm just dipping into white chocolate. I'll zoom in. So how are you seeing my hair at the moment? That's its natural state without any mousse on. Um, the mousse that I've got, well, I've got a couple of different ones. Um, it just makes my hair so hard and so stringy. It will probably get frizzy once I go out. Um, but yeah, for now it can just stay like this. And if it gets really frizzy tomorrow, I'll just straighten it. So, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't really straighten curly hair. I mean, it ruins it. Um, but I just don't like the frizz um, when it comes. Right, so now then, I'm going to go in with salted caramel. Just so we've got a lighter crease shade than the ape shit from the Wet n Wild palette. A really nice like light to medium crease shade this I really like it I've got such a pounding headache Ugh. Okay, so we're done with that, I think, for now. Right, I think I want to use a different brush now. Right, so now I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. The other brush was the Real Techniques 305. Um, and then we're just going to dip into Ape Shit. Put it in the outer V. And then run it through the crease just underneath that salted caramel shade. Still patchy. Okay, so now then with the big peacock energy shade, I normally just go on with my finger. I mean look at that, look how nice it is. If I ever 
declutter this palette this green is definitely coming out of it oh that's really really pretty And you definitely don't need to spritz your brush with that, so I'm not going to. Oops, palette's dropped on the floor. Um, in a corner highlight, I'm just trying to establish what I want to use. I might use that gold. Right, so that one is called King of the Jungle. Oh yes. I'm taking it a little bit up into the grey and that looks really, really nice. A little bit darker than I would go um, for the inner corner, but that looks nice, a nice pop of colour. Right, and then I'll go back in with a shit on the lash line. And the left eye is starting to water again. Great stuff. Damn dry eyes. Okay, so that's looking quite good. Now, I'm going to use the um, Coconut Connoisseur on the brow bone. My other palette's on the floor. So I may as well try this with you guys. Should have just used that. First, I don't know where my smaller brush has gone. Oh, it's there. Yeah, so this is just the Real Techniques. It's like a copy of the Bold Metals collection that I got off eBay many, many years ago. Right, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to tie a line today guys, my eyes are watering, so I'll leave that step. So we'll just use the Rimmel Scandalize Volume On Demand. Not loving it on first impressions, but that could all change. Um, I don't like the one, that's for sure. So what I might do is clean the wand off my other mascara and try using that when I use this one. Because although I'm getting mascara onto the eyelashes, it feels like hardly anything's going on. I mean, if you look at it compared to the left, it's definitely made them more voluminous. But it's not as good as the Essence one, in my opinion. So I think we're going to keep it quite neutral with the lipstick. I'm going to get my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I think, for this look. Yeah, we're going to use Pillow Talk, which is this really nice pink neutral shade. And I'm not 100% sure what I feel about this lipstick. I mean, I think it looks nice with this look. Normally I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I like it. But for so long, if you remember my older videos, I was like that with MAC Velvet Teddy. And now it's one of my holy grail nudes. Um, so I really do like it. 
yeah I'm, I'm thinking it looks quite nice with this look itself um, but sometimes I wear it and I'm like I don't know if I want to keep it um, but yeah this is um, the overall look guys so this is what we're looking like I really do like how it turned out especially on the more neutral side I've used that green um, is it called peacock energy the pe big peacock energy I've used that before but with more of these greens here and it turned out not great not like I would want it to turn out but today with obviously the neutral crease um, I'm liking it a lot more I just think wearing green and then putting green through the crease is a little bit too much obviously there's a way of doing it um, but I'm not very good um, you know I'm not a makeup artist I just I just do what I can with the eyeshadows um, and I'm really really happy with the way this look turned out today so guys this concludes the video thank you so so much for watching today I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of our crazy little fam please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and I will see you in my next one bye guys